Gender-based violence has claimed the lives of many Namibians with reports of shocking incidences being reported almost daily on the news. It is for this reason that the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty, Eradication and Social Welfare took to the streets with a coffin signifying the lives that Namibia has lost due to GBV and bringing an end to it. It's real. I was raped this year, January. Um, actually, the 1st of February, around 6 o'clock. By my own friend, the person I've been knowing for years. Survivors are urged to speak out and not to withdraw cases of perpetrators. For those who are withdrawing cases of GBV especially, who are withdrawing, we make sure that that law, when we are going to amend it, we put, we set as a committee within the law which deals with the person who withdraws the case. As GBV perpetrator Jamba Augustus shared his story of raping a vulnerable person, an experience which landed him 20 years in prison. The man you see today is a changed man. I attended a program called TRS in prison. TRS which means thinking, living skill. So that when I go, I'm going to be released from prison. Justice Minister Yvonne Dosap, ambassador of the Blue Eye Campaign, says her stance against GBV is both for a private and public cause. So I was pushed through the window to open the door, finding my aunt in a pool of blood. Yes, it is true that women too participate in the violation of fellow women and children, especially when it comes to sexual violence and human trafficking. But it is not true that this is not a result of the patriarchal context from which we come. This year's 16 days of activism, it's more urgent than ever. Violence against women is the most common violation of women's human rights that affects millions of women around the globe, and it needs to be given the attention it deserves. Shut It All Down movement says the theme of 16 days of activism goes well with its fundamental cause. Because adding to the petition we submitted and the intergenerational dialogues and stakeholder engagements that we've had, we call upon state agencies and private agencies to, one, adequately fund civil society movements that work on the front lines with victims of SGBV, two, to comprehensively respond to the solutions they contribute, 70% of sexual and physical violence reported are committed by the victim's intimate partners. Churches will also play their role in the prevention and response to GBV by launching another 16 days of activism against gender-based violence on the 5th of December, which will be preceded by a nationwide prayer walk. Yeah.